Welcome to Terry Blair, the Kansas City Strangler, Terry Blair, a notorious serial killer, terrorized the city of Kansas City, Missouri during the early 2000s. One of his most horrifying crimes was the murder of Angela Monroe, a young woman who became one of his unfortunate victims. Angela Monroe was a vibrant and young woman living in Kansas City. Her life was filled with dreams and aspirations, but it tragically took a dark turn when she encountered Terry Blair, a man with a history of violence and predatory behavior. In 2004, Angela was reported missing by her family and friends. As the days turned into weeks, their concern grew, but there were no leads to her whereabouts. Unbeknownst to them, Angela had crossed paths with Terry Blair, a serial killer who was targeting vulnerable women in the city. Fraser, a drifter with a history of criminal activity and violence, had a chilling modus operandi. He would seek out women who were often marginalized and living on the fringes of society. These victims, often struggling with addiction or homelessness, were less likely to be reported missing or to receive media attention. One fateful day, Angela Monroe became Blair's next victim. He abducted her, subjected her to unspeakable horrors, and eventually ended her life in a brutal manner. Angela's family and friends were left in agonizing uncertainty about her fate. Terry Blair did not stop with Angela. He continued his murderous rampage, claiming the lives of several more women in the Kansas City area. His reign of terror cast a shadow over the community, and many lived in fear of becoming his next victim. It wasn't until 2004 that Blair's murderous spree came to an end. A combination of diligent police work and technological advances, including DNA evidence, led to his arrest. The evidence linked him to the murders of multiple women, including Angela Monroe. During his trial, Blair showed no remorse for his heinous acts. He was subsequently convicted of multiple counts of murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Terry Blair, a serial killer infamously known as the Kansas City Strangler, was born on November 16, 1961, in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Terry Blair's early life was marked by hardship and adversity. He grew up in a troubled household, experiencing neglect and abuse. As a result, he had a tumultuous childhood that was marred by exposure to violence and criminal behavior. Blair's criminal record began early in life, and he was known to have a history of violent offenses and criminal activity. His criminal career included convictions for offenses such as theft, assault, and sexual assault. His predatory behavior was evident even before he escalated to murder. Blair's killing spree targeted vulnerable women, particularly those who were living on the fringes of society. His victims often struggled with addiction, homelessness, or were involved in sex work. He would lure them with promises of money or drugs, gaining their trust before subjecting them to extreme violence, sexual assault, and ultimately, murder. Blair's reign of terror in Kansas City began in the early 2000s. He was linked to a series of murders and disappearances of women in the area. His crimes left the community in a state of fear and shock as law enforcement struggled to apprehend the elusive killer. Blair's capture came in 2004, thanks to the diligent efforts of law enforcement, advances in DNA technology, and evidence that linked him to multiple murders. During his trial, he displayed a chilling lack of remorse for his actions. Blair was subsequently convicted of multiple counts of murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Terry Blair's crimes had a profound and lasting impact on the Kansas City community. His victims, often overlooked and marginalized, became symbols of the need for greater awareness and support for individuals facing addiction and homelessness. Here are some intriguing and unsettling facts about him. Blair's criminal record began at a young age, with convictions for offenses such as theft and assault during his adolescence. His propensity for violence emerged early in life. While Blair had a history of criminal activity, including sexual assault, it was during the early 2000s that he escalated to becoming a serial killer targeting vulnerable women in Kansas City. Blair's modus operandi involved preying on women who were often marginalized, including those struggling with addiction and homelessness. He would lure them with promises of money or drugs before subjecting them to horrific violence. Blair's killing spree claimed the lives of multiple victims, making him one of the most prolific serial killers in Kansas City's history. Blair managed to evade capture for several years, creating a climate of fear in the Kansas City community. 
His ability to remain undetected added to the difficulty of apprehending him. Advances in DNA technology played a crucial role in linking Blair to the murders and ultimately led to his arrest and conviction. During his trial, Blair showed a disturbing lack of remorse for his crimes. He remained unrepentant, leaving a chilling impression on those who encountered him in court. After his conviction, Blair was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, ensuring that he would never be released to commit further atrocities. Blair's crimes had a profound and lasting impact on the Kansas City community, raising awareness of the vulnerability of those living on the margins of society. Despite the attention given to Blair as a serial killer, it is important to remember and honor his victims, whose lives were tragically cut short. Their stories serve as a stark reminder of the need for compassion and support for those facing difficult circumstances. Terry Blair's case remains a chilling reminder of the capacity for extreme violence and predation that can exist within individuals and the importance of relentless law enforcement efforts in bringing serial killers to justice. Thank you for delving into the haunting story of Terry Blair with us.